A. What if I want to put opt-in boxes and sales button on my WordPress blog? How do I do that with my favorite shopping cart? Well, today we're going to talk to you about how to make your WordPress a lead-getting, profit-getting machine using one of my favorite shopping cart softwares. And we're starting right now. Hey guys, it's Marcus here from AffiliateMarketingDude.com and today I'm going to show you how to integrate your WordPress blog with the Kartra software. This is a really cool software that gives you charge of everything. It allows you to build a mailing list, follow up with your mailing list in a really cool way, offers stats and analytics that no other software has, allows you to find out who's responding, who's not responding, put them in different groups and categories, and allows you to sell stuff, set up membership sites, have videos and pretty much everything. Now this for me as a WordPress site owner is a dream come true because now I can control everything. Now I've been doing this since about 2009 with WordPress. I've been doing affiliate marketing and internet marketing since about 1999 and this is the biggest thing I've ever seen and since then I've had to do all this stuff by hand. And what that means is since 2009, I've had to code everything myself, have a programmer, get different codes from different autoresponders, have different codes from different shopping carts, have buy buttons on different servers. It's been a mess. And what Kartra allows me to do is have everything in one spot, paste it into my WordPress, and bam, you're ready to go. But what if you want to have different things on different pages and different posts, just like I have here? You could see here I have my Kartra opt-in form right here on my main page. But if you go over to the Hub site page, you're going to notice we have a completely different set of opt-ins, right? We have nothing there except for the hosting info. Okay, so kind of interesting. We also have posts. So if I go to one of my posts here on WordPress, you can see that I have different opt-in sidebar widgets. I have my content here and everything like that. I even was able to embed a custom form here for people that are looking for my Kartra bonuses and everything like that, that you can find at cartprofits.com. That's K-A-R-T profits.com. You can find out about my bonuses when you get Kartra, which I know you're going to do because it's an awesome software. So you can see here I have different stuff on this page, different stuff on our homepage so they can opt in. And I have complete control of everything and I'm going to show you how I do that. Now, first of all, what you got to remember is that Kartra not only is a shopping cart and everything like click funnels and stuff, but it actually has the HTML embed codes so you can put everything on your site like I have here. Most other ones only allow you to have stuff on their server. So it'd be like affiliatedude.kartra.com or something like that. And I would have to host everything there and find a way to code it to my WordPress. Now, Kartra is totally different. It gives you a code. You can pop it into my WordPress plugin and this stuff's going to run like a dream. So let's say, for example, I wanted to put an opt-in button on the sidebar of this post. Okay, all I need to do is go into my Squeeze Blogs Pro plugin. And I'll have a link where you can get the Squeeze Blogs Pro plugin at the end of this video. Okay, all you have to do is go into your Squeeze Blogs Pro plugin. This is on your WordPress. Click on Squeeze Blogs Pro and bam, you're ready to go. You're going to notice that it has several different opt-in options. That's kind of hard to say. An affiliate button, a thank you button, a sales button, recent posts, comments, AdSense, and more. Okay, we have other versions with even more than this, but this will give you the idea so you can get started. So you can see that right here, I have the embed code of my Kartra in this box here. Now, if I'm using Aweber or a different autoresponder, we can do that as well. But look at this little code. It's so easy to do. So for example, if I wanted to put this Kartra button on this page here, all I got to do is go to Squeeze Blogs Pro, put it in a post, choose the post ID. This one is 911. So put 9 one one scroll down hit update and bada bing bada boom our opt-in pops up right there really awesome let me show you some other things that this will do it allow you to have an opt-in here and then if you want a different opt-in like let's say okay well you know i have this post about the hub site maybe i want to put a separate opt-in on this hub site all i would have to do is go to kartra go to my forms click on the form that i want and I can go get code. Okay, so if I want to put, let's say I want to put this fancy little simple website one there. I hit get code, JavaScript, copy the JavaScript right like this, and boom, put it right here. Okay, I could put some teaser text here, teaser text. 
Okay, this is like to get them to opt in or whatever. Or you could leave it blank if you're just using whatever's on the form. I click, no, I'm not using Aweber. Put the code right in here. Okay, and then all I have to do is choose the page name. So this one here is uh, 526. So we're going to go in and I'll put pages 526, right like this. Scroll down, hit the update button, and bada bing, bada boom. Now we have an opt-in right there. And it's a separate one than the one we have on our main page. So we could take total control of our WordPress blog and use Kartra to make sales, get opt-ins, and follow up and run a whole business, right? Really cool. Let me show you how the order pages work as well. If I want to put an order page on my blog, all I need to do is go to the product. I'm going to use the Squeeze Blogs Pro plugin product. Then I'm going to go to checkout. And this is going to give me the code. All I have to do is copy this code. And you can do this with buttons as well. I'll show you how we do it with a pop-up button if you don't want to embed it. All we got to do to add the sales order form on our blog is go to the sales icon. Go down here. Choose our page. For this one, we're going to go ahead and choose... Let's choose... Um, let's choose the products page. All I need to do is choose the number. So it's 46. Go into Squeeze Blogs Pro. We're going to type in 46, right like this. I'm going to put the code right here from Kartra. Hit Update. And boom. Now we have an order button right on our blog. Now, we can also pop this up, but you can see it works really cool. They could just order right here, right on the thing. Done deal. I mean, how cool is that? You could put a video and be like, hey, go over there and order the thing. Boom, done deal. Um, and then it'll redirect them and everything like that. Really, really awesome, really easy to use. Now, if we want to instead just have a button, all I would have to do is edit my product. So we'll go to edit. We're going to go edit here. And then when you're creating your form, you can actually have an option where we could choose how we want our page to show up. So we'll go save and next. Got our pricing here. Save and next. We're going to go all the way to the checkout button here. So we'll go here. And then on our checkout, what we want to do is change this here. And we can do either a custom design or we can do an overlay pop-up window. Okay, so it'll pop up when they click it if you don't want to have the order form right on your blog. Okay, and again, remember the Squeeze Blogs Pro controls this so that you can have tons of stuff all over your blog, different pages and posts. Uh, if I want multiple posts, I could just put a comma here and put as many as I want. Or if I leave this blank, it'll be all pages. And if I leave this one blank, it'll be all posts or something like that. Or you could do a combination of both. Totally in your control. Okay, so when we're creating our button, we just go ahead and click the uh, pop-up there. Hit Save and Next. And we keep going. And there we go. Right? Then all I got to do is click on the product again. Click on Checkout. Copy the new checkout code for the pop-up button. Right like this. All right. I'm going to just go ahead and replace the old one right like that, and then boom, we now have a button that they can click for Add to Cart, and it'll pop up the secure server window so they can order that way. Now, I actually have some codes for you that I'll give you as well. You can get those at cartprofits.com, and we've got some bonuses that uh, will show you how to use different buttons. Like on mine, I actually use this code here which makes a little green button, or you can use whatever button you want. It makes it a little bit better to look at. Um, and of course, you would resize it, right? Um, but it makes it a little bit better to look at. And I think you can actually resize it right here in the code if you wanted to. Uh, but it makes it super, super easy to use. And then, boom, you have the access code, and it pops right up. So you can use whatever button you want. Just make sure you resize it. Uh, what I like to do is in my sidebar, I, I like to have about 350 wide. Um, and you can see this works with other plugins we have as well, like, like our ads plugins down here, everything like that. So as you can see, it gives you control of your blog and your sidebar widgets. Uh, because what I found out is that, you know, when you have your blog, I like to have my main blog to where I have the opt-in box on the pages like this. Okay, so I like to have that opt-in box so that they can opt in um, as they're going through to get stuff. And then I also like to have, like if I go to my posts here, you can see that on all my posts, uh, let's take this one here, um, on all my posts I have just the ads as well as like an order button here for my high ticket niches. And then 
Then I also like to have my content so Google picks it up. And then, of course, I have my smart affiliate ads plugin that creates these little ads as well. So it works really good. Um, you can use Kartra with your blog. Super easy to implement. Um, you just copy and paste the code, and you're off to generate leads and get sales really easy. So I hope you like this. If you want to get a copy of this plugin, we have it at cartprofits.com slash squeeze. That's cartprofits.com slash squeeze. You can go there. You can get a copy of the plugin, start using it with your blog, and you're off to the races. Now, if you ordered Kartra through my link at cartprofits.com, you'll get this complimentary. For the rest of you, go ahead and hop over to cartprofits.com slash squeeze. That's K-A-R-T profits.com. Thanks again. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I'll see you in the next video.